Prepare to fight. And um, historically, like we talked about, complexity is 28 and 15 lifetime against uh, 3D. So I, I don't think there's even a question. Actually, can we bring that graphic back up? We did it a while ago. Maybe somebody who's tuning in now maybe didn't get a chance to see that. Um, uh, the, the historical lifetime against uh, complexity in 3D. Uh, let's see that again. I, I know we talked a little bit about that. There it is. There you go, guys. 43 times these teams have faced 28 and 15 lifetime, and then there's the full lifetime stats. I, I know some people may have been just tuning in and didn't get a chance to see that, but those two teams absolutely have gone to war in the past, and we're going to be witness to it again. Like we said, complexity not nearly as successful recently, but now they are they, um, – they're going to face a tough team in 3D here, so let's see if they, they come fully ready to go. Definitely the match to see. So make sure you tell all your friends, www.gotfrag.com. Also, hang out in IRC. We have Pound Got Frag on yeah. irc.gamesurge.net. Get in it or score bots. You can watch this at the same time. No need to get into HLTV. Why not when you can listen to Trevor and I talk yep. about this match live with all of it and, and camera work, everything by those guys behind the scenes there. We've got multiple options here. You can watch it with us. Comment on the forums. I know we're, we've had six, seven hundred thread, post thread comments about these matches. I encourage you to get in on those. And also, you, like you said, you can get in poundgodfrag.com, talk to, to everybody else, hear, the, hear what other people are saying, communicate, join in. You've got three different ways to get involved, get interacted, and really find out what's going on with this match and, and let other people know what you think about what's going on. We've got eyes in there, we've got eyes everywhere, and we're going to be watching this match along right on with you. And guess what? We are live, boys and girls. So here we 3D go. versus complexity. You have waited months and months and tournament after tournament to see these two finally face on land. We're going to see it live at the CPL. Boom, let's get this underway. Oh, man, I'm here we go. You can see we're on fraud right now. Cole is going to be on the CT side. That's the defensive side of the map. We got Shag already in the middle trying to control it. The 3D team will be on the offensive side. That's the terrorist side. They have to plant that bomb. You can see him. It looks like they're getting set possibly for a B hit here. Seavers, the lone member of 3D on the other side of the map. He's hanging out just on the outside of the catwalk. 3D going to make their way in here. Let's see what happens. Looks like Complexity has just one member. That's Storm inside of B. The rest of them are stacked in the middle on the CT side of the double doors. So that could be disastrous here for 3D if they make their way in. It would be a really quick rotation for Team Complexity. could be dangerous. We could see uh, a very interesting round here, Trevor. Yeah, right now stacking up. 3D is going to rush in here, I think, into Bombsite B. Any second, Complexity is waiting. We're going to see a quick rotation here from Complexity. They will be all over 3D when they rush into Bombsite B. Great overhead view right there. We're going to see a quick rotation. And here comes Rambo making his way in. Storm hiding outside of the site. Took some damage here. We're going to get a quick plant from Rambo inside of the site. And you can see Complexity is already on the outside. Took all of them. Every single one of them. They're going to have grenades, and that's going to do some damage. Grenades being thrown in. Another one from 3D. Shag gets two big frags there before Cole makes his way in. 3D looking good so far, though. Rambo still alive, and Complexity in deep trouble here. Sun Man, the last one alive for them. That didn't work out nearly as well as we would have thought for Complexity. Good defense of that bomb site, especially by Shag. We're getting a few frags up point. Our spotlight player playing big there in the first round. Look at Shag. Yeah, very good job right there. He got those two oh, big frags. Yeah. That 15 came in. nothing is what he wants. I don't know if he's going to get that. He, I don't. I, I'm going to. I'm going to go out on a limb and say I don't think he's going to get that. But you know, I what? don't think you're all out on that much of a okay. limb by well, saying that, though. That's okay, more well, like a tree trunk, man. Okay. Come on. Well, I, you know, some, sometimes you got to go out there and say and do a <laughs> prediction. Sometimes. So, um, three one uh, one zero. Excuse me. Right now, as three D takes the first round, big round right there. Um, and complexity is going to be on the save. They're going to save the next two. I'll, I'll guarantee that as well as they look for um, a chance here to, to maybe get a save round. They're notorious for doing that. They don't have deagles here, but they do um, plan to stack it up. They've got three guys on the catwalk right now, two guys in bomb and that's exactly where um, 3D is going into bombsite B. Sunman picks up one frag on Volcano, though. You can see that was a nice little boost there, but it didn't really do much. Um, 3D only lost one member, so down to a four on three here. And Warden outside, he's going to go down. That's some fire by Shag. Shag gets uh, picked off there in the middle by Fraud. So Fraud uh, winning that first battle. We see between those two players here, 3D with the plant. They're going to get the win. But they lost two guys there, and that's kind of, I don't know. I mean, it is terror side, the offensive side. 
Weapons are cheap, but, you know, if you're complexity right now, you'll take anything you can get on the save. Yeah, build up anything you can, start working from it here. Again, if those who may not know, we've got Warden right there in the middle, Trip uh, right in front of us, excuse me, Trip right there, uh, Sunman, and then Storm, and right below, you haven't seen him, he's, it's Danny right there, Fraud Montana there with the hat backwards, him. right in front of the white hat. There's your complexity team. Um, and I don't see Jason Lake, which I'm surprised by. Normally he's standing there behind the team, but I guess maybe it's a little too nerve-wracking here on this one. Um, or maybe he's not even allowed back there. I'm not sure. Um, so oh. right now, Shag. Oh, Warden, al ball. Warden almost got that one, but Shag checked it at the last minute. Here comes 3D breaking into the site. And, another, man, too many of the 3D guys are going down here on the save. I'm not sure I like this. It's now a three-on-two situation for complexity. Make that a two-on-two -two as Volcano. Guns down, fraud in the window here, and oh. now it's a two-on-one. This could be big-time trouble for 3D. Oh, oh. they do pick it up. There they it win is. that save. Huge save round win right there. Oh, my gosh. That's a big mistake by 3D. Yeah, they walked right into a stack. They went the same bomb site three straight times. Bomb site B, bomb site B, bomb site B, and you know what? It doesn't take a math genius to figure out where you want to stack if you're complexity. So a little bit of variety didn't help there. 3D should have been mixing things up a little bit more, and complexity just decided to wait. Here's a little bit of an instant replay here. You can see Seavers coming in. Gets uh, double teamed here, and he goes down. But, you know, Seavers put in a bit of a bind there by his teammate. I'm not sure I would have liked that if I was him. Yeah, again, tough situation there. And right now, going in, we've got a uh, basically 3D stack it up slowly outside of the... Um, a long A right now. They're just not sure where they want to go. Complexity, three guys shaded towards uh, long A as well, but they're not going. They're not even looking at catwalk. It looks like 3D is bought here, though. I'm surprised by this. Well, a you bit. know what, Trevor? They got a bunch of bomb plants. That's the true. First two rounds, well, but even bomb still, plants. when you when you win the rounds, you don't get that extra eight hundred dollars for a bomb plant. So I'm not sure. Um, it, it's going to be close here. If they do lose this round, they might have to save twice in a row. So a big round here for 3D as they want to turn the momentum right back in. Their right. Favor. I think they want to grab that momentum back. You can see methods here on the cat. Complexity has a little bit of a, a kind of a line of defense down long. Three guys there. It looks like Fraud is watching the catwalk from the long A ramp. So let's see what they do. This is absolutely crucial right here. Because of the way this is positioned, Fraud must get one or two frags if Complexity is going to win this round. Because they've given up the middle, they've put a ton of pressure on Fraud to get some frags here. And if he doesn't, I think 3D gets this round. So here we go. The rush coming out. Now the f uh, flash is first, of course. And Fraud does get that, that initial there frag on Method. And that's two of them. That's trouble for 3D right now. I don't think they're going to be able to take this site. Look, the bomb is down there. And Shag, I'm not sure he's going to be able to get it. You know what? Toss this round. Up. Oh. Toss this round completely up to Fraud. That was won by Fraud by himself. And three, three round, three frags went to other teammates right there for complexity. But without those two frags, I'm guaranteeing you, 3D comes in, st storms out, cleans him out, pushes complexity back at long A, and now they're stuck. There's no way 3D has control of that. They'll go back to the catwalk, stack up the catwalk, and they'll hold that site easily. So. Uh, again, great job by Fraud holding that down, giving his team that opportunity, and it's going to force 3D to save here. Maybe as many as two rounds. This one for sure. You could tell that Shag wasn't very happy there. He, that that excitement is now to a frown when we looked at the picture of the camera just just a couple seconds ago. Here comes 3D rushing out long on save. Shouldn't be too much. A nice little Glock shot here from Shag down long, but uh, I think Complexity knows what's going on here. Let's see what 3D does, because right now they're kind of stuck down long, and they don't really have anywhere to go. Uh, they're testing to see who's at long A. Maybe there's an op over there. They're maybe considering, if there was fraud there, they maybe consider make a rush at him, trying to get that op out of his hands. But he wasn't there to oblige, at least at first. Now he's moved over there, and so it's, uh, it's interesting. They kind of baited that situation. Complexity did, and now they're going to push up catwalk 3D is. Yeah, and, and Trip is coming right out. He misses the frags there. He should have had at least one there. Pays for it, and now Method's going to have a gun. And Warden waiting. Oh, oh, Method coming up just steamrolls. Look at that. Look at that. He's like, what, what's going oh. on here? Method is just going to town for 3D. Rolls over Fraud here, so now they're going to get on the site and get a plan. Is this a turn of the tables, Trip? Maybe. I mean, two-star players going at it. I mean, can we say any more about these two guys? We've been talking about them all pregame. We showed the magazine with them on their cover, and good look. Fraud does it one round, and guess who does it the next? Oh, oh Shag's going to nice help. Nice shot with that help. Shag's going to help Method out here and take out one himself, too. But those early frags for Method are huge right now. No armor. He picks up the M4 from, um, the, the, from the guy who pushed from complexity oh. on the catwalk. 
There we go. Look at Sha look at the emotion there. That's what 3D needs to Absolutely. get back into this match. But you know what? Well played on the save. I mean, they really took advantage yeah. of that missed frag there on the, on the catwalk by Trip. Yeah, they took care of they took Trip's uh, M4 method. Did he ran up the the catwalk and really took him out? I don't know if we have those stats again, but can we go back to the the me method versus uh, um, Shagwar's uh, method versus? Uh, uh, excuse me, I can't even speak. Method versus fraud stats at some point. That'd be awesome. And we'd go back and see those again when we get a little lull in the action. Uh, yeah, there they go. Again, we saw showed those earlier. Again, both players stepping up huge in the last two rounds. Unbelievable play right there. Check those out. Frags per match, everything. Great opportunity. And then the bottom, frags against each other. Very interesting. And you can see that, that well. Method leads that category. And as we can see... That, we, we just saw why he leads yeah. that category. Very Stellar good individual play. player right there and really stepping up and around and helping out 3D. 3-2 three to two score right now um, by the two teams. About a minute left in this round, Vince. Yeah, and they're kind of holding back right now, 3D is. They don't want to... You know, they don't want to have any kind of stack to run into. They're being very careful about it. Uh, one member of 3D does go down. Uh-oh, now Complexity, who has bought, uh, is cutting them down down at long A. That's a trip there. You can see he just took a little bit of damage here. It's down to a four-on-two situation. Oh, a oh, beautiful shot by Method. He jumps up and then gets taken out while he's jumping up. Method absolutely predicted that, waiting right on it. Great reactions by uh, Method right there. If you think you have that kind of reaction time, I, I say uh, you'll be playing a little bit more aim map. Yeah. You know? Just wow. a little bit more. So here come the grenades. I think Complexity knows right where they are. They know Trip went down there. So Method and Volcano have made it a two-on-two. Up, -two. Uh, oh, and that's the round. Very quickly, before I could even get it out, Warden cuts them both down. Warden taking out both those guys, finishing it off at long A, able to get that round for complexity, make it a 3-3 score. And you know what? And normally, oh, guess who's back? I spoke too soon earlier. Well, he Mr. was there before. Maybe, maybe, you know what? Maybe he heard me over in the BYOC and decided, hey, you know what? Forget this. Maybe I'm not going to watch from the yeah. sidelines. I'm going to go get in and watch this myself. Who knows? But he's back. And you know what? Complexity he's wins pacing. the round when he gets back, too. He's pacing, so man. Ma maybe that'll be the edge complexity needs here going into the later half of this first half. Seven rounds down right now. Well, six rounds down in the seventh. And 3D is setting up in the dark halls. Yeah, they are. And it looks like uh, Complexity has two guys that are covering the B-side, Sun and Storm. A deadly combination there, but it looks like 3D is going to possibly do a 3-2 here. You can see that uh, two of the guys in the lower halls, Jack making his way back up, Rambo the other one, Fraud in the middle on the screen that you can see right now, just kind of hanging back, Storm in the back of that site. He's going to get rushed by four guys right here. They're going to come right around that right-hand corner right there by that box. It's going to be a melee right on Storm here any second now. Let's see as it comes in. 3D is setting up their flashes and smokes. Here they come in. Here come the grenades. And the grenade work by 3D pretty good so far. But that's Sunman from the door. Here comes Storm from the back of the site. He's there. Gets oh. two of them. And now it's just trouble. Storm cutting them down. It's now a two-on-one. Rambo's in the halls. And he's got the bomb in front of him now, too. Fraud there to help. Oh. But he doesn't need any help. Storm takes care of business himself. Big time round by Storm. And Lake lets him know it, too. Great job. Four to three score right now. And Complexity gets their first lead of the game seven rounds into it. Here's the instant replay here. Taking a look at Storm. Look at this. Check it out. Headshot. And Headshot takes, again. Look and then he, he'll get the last one here. Later on, we won't, have, we won't have that. But great job by Complexity. Um, and it looks like we got a quick rush by 3D. No, they slowed it down. A save round here as they're in the dark halls right now. 3D having to save after Complexity's put together a few rounds. This is pretty rare. Again, this is a very offensive favored map. You can see at the top of the screen, red is the offense and 3D is in red. That's Fraud. It looks like Fraud has a Colt there. So they're going after Fraud. They're trying to get him, but Warden drops down and helps the team out. They do get Fraud there, but uh, Shag cleaned up at last. But you know what? They wanted to get Fraud. That was the goal of that rush there. You saw that they faked the B, went down into the middle, and went after the guy who they thought had the AWP. He didn't have one, though, but it's at the same time they did it. They did go after Fraud. They are isolating him. Again, we, I was talking about it. Offensive side, the red side, is normally easier on this map because you can control the middle and be more effective. Five to three score, or excuse me, yeah, five to three score right now, and Complexity is making fools work of that. They're, they're up by two rounds on the defensive side. This is going to bode well for them when they go to the offensive side in the next half. Again, Counter-Strike, 15 rounds on offense, 15 rounds on defense. You have to switch halfway through. So first team to 16 rounds wins. Big time right here. The top two teams in the United States bragging rights for potentially as much as six months 
on the line right now. Both teams absolutely want to win this match. And not only that, but the loser could is most likely eliminated from the tournament as well. Yeah, ex exactly. So a lot on the line right now for both of these teams. Nine rounds in, and I think 3D is trying to set up for a middle rusher, but it's been kind of stalled out and stopped. Um, by some smart work by Sunman, who's backing up right now. Well, look, look at the way Complexity is set up. Sunman's in the CT spawn. we got three guys inside of A for Complexity. So right now, if 3D was to go B, they'd likely be able to get in for a nice little plant. Take a look at the time. Just 41 seconds left, so they need to do something. Remember, it takes four seconds to plant the bomb. So these guys need to move relatively quickly here, relatively soon, and we're, we're going to see where they're going. I think right now the smartest place to go is B. And I think they've taken too long already. They need. They should have attacked a while ago. This is too long of a delay. It looks like a split B rush here coming. Uh, Storm is going to be right in the thick of things here as they split attack him. Yeah, and Shag going down there. Looked the wrong way. But here comes his teammates, and they are going to get in. The bomb Time, is down tick, the side. tick, tick. Just 10 seconds left. They need to get that plan as soon as possible. You can see Rambo's inside. He needs to get it down. I don't think he's going to have time to do it. He's not. He's and not. He's not going to have time. They're going to win this round here just based on poor clock man. Oh, That's my it. gosh. He got it right at the last second. He planted with about three seconds. He started planning with about three seconds, and that's oh. going to cost them, though, because you know what? Complexity knew it as well. They knew they had no time left to plant, so they started to press the attack. And when you have one guy planting, you know that guy cannot fire a weapon. He is not really going to be of a help. Well, so you so can, you, the perfect time to rush, right exactly. there. Exactly. It's, it's like basically taking one guy out of the strat. So in that situation, it was a three-on-two, but because one of the three members was planting, it was actually a three-on-one. Complexity took advantage of that and rushed right in. They should have gone a lot sooner. They should have maybe attacked with about 40, 45 seconds instead of letting it tick all the way down to 30 or 25 in that situation. So 3D, a little bit of a mistake right there. Allows Complexity now to get back in it and fraud. Oh, nice shot. We talked about that in the opening. He's opping at the end of the catwalk right there and absolutely dominating, right. stopping this rush Remember, a smoke bit. doesn't make a difference for fraud. You can see right through here, even on land, guys. So right now, Complexity in solid control. Oh, nice shot by Rambo. Taking the head off of Ward here. Method is in the site leading the charge, so they will get a nice plant. They need that plant. They need that money. They need the rounds are down 6-3 to three right now, so they're going to set it up 3-on-3 three three situation here. Cole's got two guys down inside the CT spawn. Trips over in the middle, so Method uh, hanging back here. These guys are going to get set up, and we'll wait and see what happens here. Chuck. Again, you only have 35 seconds once the bomb goes down, so really a slow retake right here by Complexity, and that is just absolutely oh. killing them. 3D knows they had to come, and all this they were just waiting for. Method's going to tear this last guy up. Here there he goes. He yeah, uh, impressive. Uh, it's about time, really, and, and these guys need this round. This is this is an offensive side map. They need to get more rounds. Yeah, I mean, this is already too many, really. If I was on the offensive side, but this is exactly I, what complexity. I, I needs. think I think you're right. It's it's starting to borderline on too many. But if you're 3D and you win out here, if you win out the rest, make it nine six in your favor. It's six four right now in favor of complexity. If you win out all five rounds and make it nine six. Then you feel comfortable going into the second half. But that is going to be a tall task with the way this match has gone back and forth so far. So uh, really, 3D's got a lot of work in front of them. Oh, man, 3D making their way into the B-bomb site. You can see here, and Method catching the guy on the rotation. That was Warden who came storming through the hall. The bomb is planted inside the site now. Method falling back. Two members of Complexity left alive. That's Trip and Fraud. They're outside. You can see some money problems here for Complexity. He's got the Famas. Yeah, and this is going to be... If, if, if for by some chance, Trip and Fraud can get in here and take out Volcano, Shag, and maybe Rambo, Method's way too far away to help. But you know what? That's not even going to happen. Never yeah, mind. They're going to save the guns. I think. Oh, and Shag oh, took out man. Fraud. We missed that on the camera there, but Shag blasted him from the double door. Uh, did you hear? Did you hear Shag? I think he said something like, "I don't think so, Fraud," or something like that. <laughs> he took care of him as he was running away. So a little bit of showmanship between the two teams. I'm. I, I think they're pretty far away, actually. For, uh, complexity is down on the other side near the tournament mock, which is about, I'd say, 25 feet away from um, the, the, the uh, so 3D guys. So that's why he's got to shout it, man. He's, he's so got to shout it. He's got to shout it through uh, all those computers and all that noise and potentially other teams screaming and yelling as well. So he's got to let him know. Six to five score right now as the match is starting to close up a little bit tighter. But again, like we talked about, 3D needs to get an advantage here. They need to get a lead if they're going to have any chance in the second half. Yeah, just taking a look at the score here warden leading complexity with a 12 and 7 ratio method is on top for 3d with 11 and 6 so let's take a look at fraud here he's got his deagle out looks like maybe a, a deag save yeah exactly and I was just uh, say that we have 
three and he just kind of holding back. Seavers is going to start things off at long. But look at Volcano. Just one health. Took some heavy damage here. Shag exchanging some fire in the middle. That was Sunman who went down. He tried to creep through those double doors. Right now, 3D. Seavers is just standing outside the double doors at long on the T side, picking guys off, and now he's falling back. Volcano is not going to be the man to lead this rush up the cat. <laughs> I don't think so. Health. No, I, he's going to sit there and be all alone. He's got the bomb, too, so no one's going to come for him, I don't think. Trip is the only guy who's close enough, and he's pushing up the catwalk slowly right now by the bomb site. They could run into each other right here. And Volcano cannot afford to miss, and he does. A nice headshot by Trip. He has the bomb down now. I don't, I don't know if he saw it, though. I'm not. Well, I think he. I think he's going to see it here in a minute. But now 3D has four members and Method going to work on him. Nice play. Method's such a solid player. He's been great all tournament long. Scores now tied six to six. They're starting to come back. Maybe we can see a nine six after all, Trev. Yeah, maybe so. Three more rounds to go to pull that off, and, and three rounds left for Complexity to pick up maybe one or two more and really put themselves in an absolutely phenomenal position going into the second half. They'd love to do that. So really, the pressure is on 3D here. They need to put up those three rounds and put themselves in a position where I would say is acceptable going into the second half. Anything more Complexity gets is absolute gravy. So so they're looking for something left here to pick up around. And this is an interesting setup here by by complexity. You can see that Fraud has pushed through the double doors, and he's looking into the B halls here. So usually, obviously, some money problems here for complexity. Fraud hasn't really used the lot very much this game at all. He hasn't had the opportunity to buy one. Three, he's gotten enough rounds to keep him in trouble. Here comes the rush up long. Warden with his Colt up there on the catwalk. 3D's across now. As you can see, they will get a plan, and that's exactly what they need in this situation, Trev. So right now, four guys left for Complexity against four guys from 3D. Complexity's going to need to retake this bomb site. Fraud is joining Warden on the catwalk, and they're going to push up here. Storm and Sunman are both in CT spawn. Warden has just five health, so he's going to be the first one to go down here um, if he makes his way up and misses his shot. Let's see. There he is. Who's that leading out? It is Warden, and, and Volcano whiffed on him there. I'm not sure how he didn't he didn't cut him down, but the bomb is uh, they have somebody on the defuse. Storm, a nice shot down long, and Complexity is going to pick up this round. They were able to take the guys out who were down long. Nice, solid play. Let's see if we can go to the Telestrator real quick right. and check check out how that played oh, out. Oh, wait, no, that's going to be a win for 3D. The bomb went oh, off. Oh, wow. To the fuse. I don't think anyone had a kit there. Oh, what a huge mistake by Complexity. Again, great job um, by 3D holding that off. That's and lucky. I, that, is, that is really lucky. lucky. Unbelievable situation right there, as we saw. Um, the two sides oh, going at it. 3D knows checking, it, too. Checking this out, we saw um, Complexity come up um, from the both the middle here coming up the middle and the catwalk they had two guys coming up on both sides 3d had fallen back down long a and the bomb planted here complexity was able to push their way out and take them out from both both sides and stop that attack and then retake the bomb site 3d really had no one in the site to be able to stop that uh, you know i'm looking here um and we can cut back now to the main screen i saw one member of complexity had a famas and that was i believe warden who stacked down long the rest of them are saving, aside from one Deagle, who I believe was Storm, who had that. Not quite sure. You can see 3D now. They're going to make their way up Catwalk, which right now is the smart thing to do. There's nobody in the A-bomb site. Two guys down long. They're doing a little spam, but they're going to make their way in. There's going to be nobody there, Trev. Yeah, there is. Uh, complexity is completely at long A, aside from Fraud and, and Storm. And Storm has absolutely actually gone all the way into the, the, CT, or the offensive base right now. Fraud is going to work his way on a flank of the catwalk. I think Complexity should just stay here along. I don't know why they're moving out of there. They would have had an opportunity to maybe take out Volcano, who's pushing there right now at long A. Yeah, and there we go. You can see Method picking up Fraud, who was over on the catwalk area. And uh, let's see some fire by Rambo in the middle. Um, Trip is one of the last guys here. Volcano should run into him down long. Let's see if Volcano checks his spots. And yes, he does. I think, I think Trip actually got a little bit of a dink there. But Volcano is smart enough to check the spots. Storm right now sitting in the offensive spawn while Warden's all the way over in the dark halls. He's maybe pushed all the way up long and paid for it. Seaver's waiting for him right there. I'm not sure I understand what they were doing there. I'm not a fan of the pushing, really. Some teams like to do it, and Complexity hasn't really, but this time they paid the price. I don't know what they're doing with Volcano right here, 3D. Yeah, the bomb is sitting there in the dark halls. The, most of the action's going on on the other side of the map with Method Seavers over by Long A. So I don't know what they're trying to pull here. Volcano going back through the offensive spawn, back towards the other side. I, I don't know what the execution strategy was there. I'm not sure what Rambo, the team 
leader of 3D was thinking with that round. But he's pulling Volcano back now to the rest of the team. So they're going to maybe try to do a push here either in the middle or onto Catwalk. All four guys for 3D stacking up in this middle. Well, you can see now that the Complexity has three guys in the area of the A bomb site. Fraud being one of them. Sun Man, the other. He's on the ground in front of Fraud there. You got the guy on the Catwalk. That's Warden. And now... <laughs> Now it looks like 3D is going to make their way up the cat. This could be devastating. Watch out and, for Storm uh, on this flank, too. Let's see what Storm does. He's coming from behind in the middle. Seavers is going to start things off. Let's see how 3D fares. Can Fraud get the big... Oh, oh he got one. Air. That was awesome. Oh, he, he got, got two. two. And there's Storm on the flank. Comes right around and smokes him. Well played by Complexity. Perfectly Yet played. Yet again, Fraud stepping up huge on the catwalk. That is one of the hardest places. I don't know if people understand this, but playing in that position, let's look, check out this instant replay first. Look at this shot. Point. Mid air, blasting right out of it. Boom, and then right through the one. box there on that second one, and Storm finishes it off for him with two from behind. Again, like I was saying, people don't realize how hard of that those frags are. You have absolutely no room for error. If you miss that, You're you dead. get flashed, naded, and then on top of that, you're, you're looking at, you know, not having much to shoot at. You're shooting right over those ledges, right over those boxes in that area, and you really don't have a lot of room to, do, to maneuver in there. You, they know where you're at. They know exactly where you're going to be. They're spamming those box areas. They're spamming all those positions. So you're getting hit constantly with bullets through the walls, and it's very hard to hit shots accurately like that. So to see that kind of play from Fraud in two specific rounds, that is absolutely amazing. So 8-7 is going to be the first half, but here we are in the pistol. There's 3D going to town. We got Shag and Volcano. Two big frags for them. This is a B rush for Complexity, but they're paying for it. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Just going to town. Look at 3D. They took it right to him. That's a critical pistol round right there. Oh my gosh, and you saw Shag going absolutely nuts. We got quickly into that second half. Not even time to think about it. A quick rush right there from Complexity. They took no time. Look at look look at Shag. Oh man. my gosh, look at that, he's going man. Aft. He's going crazy. You can see him. Uh, I, this is what happens at these tournaments. Not a lot of people get to see this kind of thing, and that's why we're bringing it to you right here. So now you understand, we're going to have uh, Complexity on the save here after losing that big pistol. Look like they're going to be working towards B. They do have the bomb, all five of them there. 9-7 score right now. Seavers waiting for him. Look at him, Seavers. Go on the town with the help of Shag. And here we go. Seavers is having a huge round. Oh! oh! mid air by Shag with the pistol. That's awesome. Not a single frag there for Complexity. That was huge. Yeah, big time play right there. Normally, if you lose guys in that situation, every time you lose a guy, that's $3,200 you lose. You only get 34 for winning it. So Let's big time Seavers right there. Game. Here we go. It's 1-2 right there. They're making their way in. Shag had perfect backup here. I mean, he saved Seavers. Oh, just a great Man. replay right there. We'll have to come back to that later. Amazing. So right now, watching his complexity pushing up right now in the actual uh, middle here, up catwalk. They're saving right now. They've got deagles. Now, let's be very careful here. Complexity is amazing with deagles on saves. So there's a very good opportunity. Oh, here's Volcano. Up. Never oh, mind. Volcano's <laughs> amazing on saves. Oh! That's an ace right there for 3D Volcano. Going to town on one of the best teams oh in the world. Oh, my gosh. That's an ace, baby. Volcano. And he didn't even get below 25 health. Look I, at that. If we got that instant replay, I'm going to absolutely cream myself. Oh, here we go. Oh, my oh. gosh. Man, here it is. Check this out. This is Volcano peeking One, around two. against the Deegs. Line right up. Deagle. Boom. boom. That's it. <laughs> oh, Love it. Wow. Volcano absolutely just going amazing. to look at Lake. He's, he can't be happy, right? Look at him. He's, he's pissed, man. Come on. 3-0 right now, and this is going to be the first full gun round. Complexity has to win this and turn the momentum back in their favor. Again, it's a very offensive favored map. We expect Complexity to win this round and start putting some together, but they've got to actually convert it now. They are down by four rounds, and they can't allow this game to get any further away. No, no, absolutely not. I, 3D, I think all the momentum is there. Man, they have to be pumped right now. Volcano spotted some of the guys inside the tunnel there. That would be Fraud down there. Fraud picks, him, picks off Method, who was boosted on that box by Volcano right in front of him on the catwalk. Right now, each team is down. Man, 3D kind of holding the middle. And uh, <laughs> look at Method, a little comment there. Team A down. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Little, you and then see Fraud that responds, chassis. too, with a laugh. That's because he course. knows. Yeah, he understands. Course. They just got rolled over on the catwalk there. So take a look at the middle. This is Sun Man here, 91 health. Hanging back, bomb in his hands. Volcano's a little bit hurt there, though. Some grenades. Oh, through the box on the wall. That was Tripp who tried to sneak by. 
didn't happen. Warden comes. Devers, I think that was from below. I think he that spanned was, that him was from spam the spawn. from below. He He's, did. Look at look at the spot where the body is. You can see he spam from below. Look at Shaq. He's way out of position here. He is on the catwalk now, though. It's a two on two situation. This is huge. Yeah, so right now we see Seavers coming down from spawn, or coming up from spawn, excuse me, and Shagwar coming from catwalk. Sunman is going to be completely surrounded. One guy above him, one guy below him right here. Yeah, and there's also a guy behind him. So, oh, Seavers comes around with a headshot. That's a big one. Shag comes around. 3D picks up yet another round. That's four rounds this half for 3D. They're just smoking coal right now. I mean, come on, <laughs> look at them. Look at how oh, excited they are, baby. man. All the momentum is right there for 3D. Shag is absolutely into this match, and I'm sorry I'm laughing oh, at Lake, all that. Lake's not happy. Uh, you know, we're getting the emotion from both teams. If you didn't think we were right about how much they wanted to win this, just oh, look man, at their look faces. At Lake. I don't even have to say anything. Just watch. That's how much they want to win this game. Oh, man. So here we go. Into round number five right now. Overall score, 12-7. to 7. It's getting a little closer. I'd be uncomfortable if I was complexity. Seavers pushing through the halls, gets one, falls back. A little bit of spam there. Again, he hadn't done that all game. All half, he hadn't done anything like that. No pushes yet. So to see that from them, I think complexity wasn't expecting it. That puts them in a power play situation here. Four, five on four situation right now as complexity has lost the man on the offensive side, making this even more difficult for them as they are down five rounds. They've got to find some momentum and put this back together. It's not over by any stretch of the imagination. We could see a nice comeback here very soon if complexity can find a way to get some play. They need somebody like Fraud to start stepping up. He died there, though, but they need to get somebody on their team to step up and play well. They need some individual performance to change the momentum of this man, game. Just look at the scores here, Trev. I mean, we got two guys on complexity who have no kills none one for fraud there's volcano peeks around picks trip off and it's a five on three situation complexity's on the cat and they're not look this is not looking good for them right now this round is not looking good at all here they come volcano there and he gets it rambo is there as well nice headshot these guys are trying to make their way up the cat lock nades being thrown all over the place i think they're totally blind right now nice little flash load that rush stopped it in his tracks yeah, so right now, five on two, or four on two, excuse me, and all that's left is Warden and Storm for complexity, and they are completely surrounded, although nice oh, pick right there by little Warden. little pick. I love you. Coming around is Warden. He's going to get the plant. Let's see if Method can do it. Oh! Oh, and Storm played uh, played a real um, interesting move. He dropped down in his spawn and took out one of the guys, so now it's a two-on-one, but you know what? I think shagwar has got a lock on him maybe here. This is a bad position right now for Storm. If Shaq can get up there and get a defuse, he's in a position to be covered by Method, who has the AWP. But oh, no, oh, there it is. Can Method get the defuse in time is the big question. He should be able to get it. He has a kit. Let's see if he can do it. Yeah, I think he's got it. Look, look at Shaq, man. He's ready to go. <laughs> look at it, man. 3D is pumped, and they're going to pick up another round here. That's five big rounds on the CT side. Man, they're doing the same thing that complexity did to them, except they haven't let complexity win around yet. Absolutely, 5-0, and if it's, it's still, complexity needs one round. They need one round with a big momentum shift, and they can turn this game completely around. But they need a guy like Fraud or Storm or one of these guys to get a big round. They need three, four frags from him if they're going to turn this game around. And, and I think that, you know, just a matter of time, I think, until they get that. And if oh. they don't, oh, they're going to be in trouble. Well, they could be in trouble right now because Volcano tried to push long and was picked off by Fraud. You know what, though? On the flip side, you're saying complexity needs just one round. 3D needs just three rounds to take this match home and knock them out of the tournament. Exactly, and that would be huge for 3D. They'd oh, like a to nice do that. pick. What a pick by Method at long there. And, and Method right there, not normally an AWP, or you know what he just did? He out AWP'd Fraud. Yeah, I didn't, we didn't maybe see that on the screen, but Fraud out AWP'd, or was out AWP'd by Method right there, so... Big time play by the two friends, and your method getting the better of him right there. And we talked about it. Plus eight against him, make that plus nine at least. <laughs> nine or ten, even maybe even eleven here after this match. They played very well. Taking a look at complexity, it looks like they're going to try and make a push up cat. But you know who's waiting for him? Is Rambo up there? So let's wait and see. Method is also up there, warding down at long. So here we go. Let's take a look and see what they're doing. They're trying to make their way up. Rambo hiding in that spot. He's been spotted. He's taking some spam. His teammates are going to come around, but two big frags for Complexity to make that three. Warden's got two, and I think Complexity may have their first round here. Just one left, and that's Seavers. He's in a bad position. Yeah, Seavers should be smart and save his weapon right here. Give this round. Now, this is very important. Not a single big play right there from Complexity. Um, just a bunch of good frags. So I think you, one of the issues here is going to be that if 
Complexity loses this round, they are going to be completely broke. So what they need to do is they need to win the next round. They need to put together their string of rounds right here. It's a very dangerous situation. If you lose this many rounds in a row, five in a row, you've got full money available to you every round. So they were able to buy over and over again. So what happens now is when they lose this round, the money resets. The game helps you if you lose rounds over and over again. And but if you win a round, it's no longer helping you. You have to re-earn that. So in other words, Complexity loses this round back now. They're going to be back to $1,400, and they're going to be very, very broke going into the following round. So 3D could turn this into a big opportunity to win this match. Complexity must win this round. Yeah, okay, look, Shag, a little bit deflated there. Seaver's not able to save the gun. He was hunted down by Trip. I knew that was going to happen. They didn't want that gun saved. They want to they wanna hurt 3D as much as possible on all aspects of the game, and money is definitely included there. It, oh, my gosh, interesting play right here. 3D has stacked the, the A-bomb side. I think this is even more risky than 3D should play. They, they know that they've got a potential to, to put complexity in a bad money position. Taking a risk like this seems a little, oh, they're saving. They're Never saving. mind. I can't believe that. How are these five straight round wins? Why are you saving in this situation? Have they lost that many weapons? I didn't think there was that many frags on the other side. And uh, really, there isn't. I mean, I'm surprised they're saving here in this situation. That, that that totally shocks me. They have an opportunity to put this game away with a round win, and what do they do? They save. I'm I'm totally surprised by that. I'm sorry. Well, so here we go. If they're uh, if it pays off here, we may see uh, 3D get lucky. They have two guys down long. You can see them. Method is one of them. Shag the other. The rest of 3D inside a stacked nicely. And and you know what? Complexity has not even made their move into B whatsoever. They haven't checked it out at all they're about to run into a big time stack of at least three guys but if they play this right they should they should you know take this round and put themselves let's in see how position. this develops and it looks so. like they're going to clean up they they managed to keep that stack from hurting them there they ran right into it but you know what they just overpowered it great job right there and that was very dangerous situation that they managed to avoid um, staying away from those uh, you know that, that USP stack and those different angles that 3D was trying to get them in so right now it looks like Method and Shag are just going to stay down long and, and try and possibly get some exit frags here they're watching each other's backs really uh, they're not maybe possibly trying to get a, a a gun here if they can pick a guy off Frod watching down long Shag peeking out there they see him Let's see if they can get him. I, I think Frog realizes that they're both there. He's going to fall back, save his gun. The smart play by Complexity. Yeah, don't risk that AWP there. There's no reason for Frog getting out and saving oh. a weapon. Method going down there real quick to trip over in the middle. Now, 5-2 to two score in the second half, and, and I'm surprised by that save. I still am. 3D's now buying weapons for each other, too. I, I'm, I can't believe they lost that many weapons early in the game. There must have been some, you know, either a couple of explosions they lost. Extra, I don't know how they lost all that extra money that they should have had from winning five straight rounds. They just seemed to lose a lot of money there. So, And, and again, each player died, died about two times before that round was over, so I'm not sure where all, the, where all that extra money had gone to. Um, maybe they had bought some, maybe they, you know what might have happened is they might have bought Famazas in that second round and then bought Everybody bought Colts the round after that. So they've, instead of dying two, it's like dying three times because of that. So an extra buy may have cost 3D a save in that situation and an opportunity to really put Col Complexity out of this game. Now Complexity is in a position where they could run a few rounds together here. Yeah, you know, take a look at the setup here. If we can switch over to overhead real quickly, you can see that 3D has a four-man stack of the A side. Take a look at them on the right of your screen there. All those guys on that one side and Complexity kind of hanging out in the middle. Two of them over near the B side, and, and the bomb is on the B side. There's two guys right here. Fraud and Shag are about to go head-to-head -head AWP. There's an AWP for Fraud right to the left here. He's going to step out. He's got the bomb with, with him, and that's on Warden's back. So right here, it's going to be huge. But a flash from Complexity as they come in from the other side. They rush that middle. Nice, solid play. And Fraud gets Shag, who is totally surrounded there. This is going to be an easy plan, a, a mistake for 3D. I wonder if they're just going to save out here because... Uh, I, I don't think they're going to be able to take the bomb site with those guys in there. It's just going to be too Yeah, difficult. they're going to save their guns here, but I don't understand why you would put an AWP again. An AWP oh. is worth $4,700. And Fraud just lost his. Yeah, again, $4,700 for an AWP, and you put him all alone in a bomb site all by himself that can oh. get flanked from middle. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Two, in my opinion, two bonehead plays in a row by 3D. I don't understand what the logic was in that situation, and I think they've let complexity get back into this game. Yeah, they should have shut them out. 
last round very easily. Method at least taking some money away from these guys, but I think they're going to have plenty of money to buy next. No problem here. If you're going to stack four on one like that, at least have one of the guys that's in A watching middle to let Shaguar know so that he can readjust his position and maybe help slow down that attack. Um, from the middle, but uh, again, complexity was allowed to attack the middle on both sides. Maybe we can go to the telestrator real quick and lo show that what exactly did happen in that situation if we get an opportunity here. So let's take a look and see. If we do not, we're going to keep following the action here. Maybe a little bit too quick. Um, yeah, we got in the action a little too fast there. We'll, we'll check it out later. Again, two teams right now. Complexity has both Shaguar, uh, excuse me, 3D has both Shaguar and Seaver set up in bombsite B, but I think the action's going to go towards uh, bombsite A here as they're working at the end of the catwalk. And really, Complexity's had a lot of uh, late, late half success with B. It seems like once they can get in there, 3D has not had the chance to really get in and take that bombsite back. This doesn't really look like they're willing to do so. So to stick to A, we'll actually see what they do. Storm is heading into B. You can see Trip and a bunch of his other teammates in the middle there. Take a look. You can see them all on the screen. The bomb is there on the cat. Kind of a risky play there by Sun with the bomb peeking on the catwalk. Not sure if I would have done that. But flashes are keeping Volcano and the other guys on the catwalk at bay here. Yeah, right now everyone for complexity is at the end of this catwalk where Fraud is. Uh, right here where Volcano's shooting. He's going to meet five guys for complexity if he steps out anymore. And he just simply needs to back up in my opinion. There he goes. He's backing off. Um, but it may be a little late. He's already lost some teammates. And I think complexity is itching to move its way down this uh, catwalk. Volcano, Volcano's totally blind. He's totally blind. Oh, Fraud deagles him as he tries to jump over. Nice mid-air deeg there. Method returns fire with that AWP. Shag is rushing to get there and help his teammate. It's a three-on-two wow, full-out rush. Smoke. I think Method is, is screwed here. Misses the no-scope, and he goes down. This is going to be an easy plan for wow. Complexity. That was impressive smoke right there by, by Complexity. Absolutely. Three smoke playing right in the same place, sh neutralizing that AWP from Method. Great play right there. That's excellent work, and I think that's good call by Trip right there, getting themselves in a position and getting all those smokes out there. And that that has to be a teammate calling, or has to be a team leader calling that kind of um, teamwork from three smokes. Oh, here's Shag, an opportunity there, missed to get a frag. Let's see if the bomb is ticking here. He's going to jump on it, fake the defuse, peek around. It's a two on one, but no storm. Jumps up, pops him in the head, and he's not too happy about that. No, definitely. He wanted an opportunity to maybe make a huge play in this game and put this thing away. Two round, two uh, two on one situation. He wins that. He's going to put 3D in a really good position, make it six four, and really start giving them an opportunity to really put this away. Two more rounds, and 3D ties this up, forces a tie at least. Again, 16 rounds to win. So if you get 15, all the other team can do is tie. So. Complex, uh, 3D's looking for that, and Complexity's trying to stop it right now as we get back into the action here. 13-11 to 11 score. 3D is still out in the lead, even though Complexity's oh. won a few rounds in a row. <laughs> and 3D, what they're trying to do here on the save is take Rod out, but I think Rod's doing all the fragging right now. Finally, he goes down, but not before he picks up three huge frags. Shag on the flank here. You can see Sun waiting for him to come out. That's the round. Quick save. A nice attempt to get Fraud, but it wasn't... They did get him, but you know what? It's not going to matter because he had enough kills there to refill his wallet with some money. And you watched right there as Sunman grabbed a Fraud's AWP that he had dropped when he died, then passed it back to him. That is absolutely crucial. I don't know. The, the game is so organized around each player having a role, and, and Fraud's role is using that AWP. So what does the rest of the team do? Anytime he dies, they try to get him that expensive weapon back so that the team can continue to function as they want to, and that right there is what Sunman did. And so the entire team, it's an, actually an organized strategy. They make sure they pick up his weapon and get it back to him every round if he does die. So that's something that's interesting to watch, and we got a good shot of it right there. Yeah, that was a nice little interesting smoke to prevent a shot from middle right now 3d set up inside of a they got three guys here it looks like the bomb's going to be headed that way in the hands of sun man he appears to be the designated bomb carrier for complexity the other guys trip of course one of the best entry fraggers in the country and he's also the leading strats caller for this team he's really plays extremely well and he's, he's one of their guys that they need to help organize and call these strategies they seem so coordinated and that's because of the excellent play of trip and he's got them flashing here they're going to go after bombsite a yeah here we go volcano inside throws a flash of his own which kind of kills that rush trip making his way out can volcano get the frag we will see no nope, rambo does back in his team end up good cover there a lot of grenades being thrown right now, and Complexity is committed to the catwalk. Everybody is blind right now. Yeah, and there's a grenade from Method who comes rolling in from down long. Here we go with Volcano. You can see him. Stellar aim. Oh, Storm. 
Drops him. Yeah, so right now watching as Rambo is going to face a couple. He got one with the bomb, but Warden's going to take him out. It's now a two, three on one situation. Bomb is down right now. Oh, and there is Method. Nice shot. There it is. He has that op, Trevor. It's not something he usually plays with. He's had great success right now. And you saw right there Moto leaning over and talking to Rambo. Rambo's the in game caller. He's going to call all the strats. Everybody listens to him. But, you know, Dave is going to be the one who leans over and gives him ideas, tells him, hey, this is what you guys may be missing. You're in the middle of the game. You can't think about all the things that are going on. And Dave's job is to kind of watch that, see if he can't figure out some things that they can do to do better. And right now, six to five score as 3D first gets their first round in five straight after Complexity had rallied all those off. Again, I think 3D let Complexity get back into this a little bit with a couple of mistakes early on during that little bit of a rally. And now 3D finally answers back, 14 to 12. And I have a feeling this is going to go down to the last couple of rounds. Yeah, I think so too, Travis. I mean, 14, 12, it has to go down to the last couple of That's rounds true. here. So here we go. Complexity sending four long. Method with that AWP is flashed as he's totally blind now. And right, Complexity not really pushing up. You take a look at the overhead real quickly. You can see that most of Complexity is now back out side of long A. You can see them near the bottom of your screen. 3D has four near the A side. They got a couple guys down inside the CT spawn. And there's about three guys right around to the left here on Volcano screen. There it is. Oh, oh. If he had, if he had why did switched, he, yeah, why he had did he step out players, there? He would have had a frag. I'm not sure. The flash went off right behind him, and now Complexity knows they have an entry into the cat warden. A big entry frag there, up to the catwalk. So it looks like they're going to get a clean entry. Complexity as they might have a chance to get this round. Those flashes are doing some serious damage, though. Seavers with some nice placed flashes up from the spawn slowed down that attack. And right now, it looks like Complexity is finally going to make their way into the site after that. Dis distraction from Seavers, but you know what? I don't think they're going to get this. I think the uh, guys for uh, 3D are going to save their guns. 4-2 to two, uh, in this round right now as 3D is behind in the man advantage. Little uh, action here in the middle. Method gets the best of trip there. Nice little shot. I think Method, oh, he's going to go down, but here's Shag picking off Storm. It's a two-on-one. Shag's going to try and save that off, but I think Sun is going to go on the hunt here. Oh, Warden showing some AWP skills right there. there we go. Taking out two guys. That was a cross-map shot. The two AWPers for 3D Method and Shagwar in back-to-back -back shots. Nice play there by Warden. We don't normally see that kind of uh, AWPing from him. He, every now and then he'll show a little bit of a, a display. But you know what? He shot two big shots off right there. Trevor, you know, look at how. Here's the instant replay. You can see Warden had a nice entry. He's stellar play by him. He was a difference maker in that particular round, Trevor. Yeah, so great job in that round, picking up that frag and getting them into the site. Um, and now we're back to action here. 14-13 is the score, and we've only got a couple of rounds left to go. Vince, you got you buckled in over there? Hey, man, I, I, I got it latched, and I think I need a shoulder harness too, man. <laughs> you I might. feel like a pilot in a plane that's out of control right now. 14-13, to 13, tied 6-6. Six, six. This is one of the closest matches we've seen all tournament. And, and, and you know what? It'd be fitting to see this thing go into overtime, but I bet there's quite a few people out there who wouldn't want that, and I think that would be 3D on the highest high on that list because they've got the lead right now, and they would love Love to finish this off. And Warden is right there uh -oh. on the corner. Oh, no. man. How, how did Warden do that? These guys were waiting right there. Method, one of the best. And it looks like Complexity is in a great position to pick up another round. Shag and Seavers are smart. They will save out here. They're the only two left for 3D. They both have guns. And right now the money situation can't be so good for 3D. And it's got to be looking good for Complexity. Yeah, 6-6 six, six score in this half. Overall, 3D leads 14-13. to 13, And we're watching as Seavers... And Shagwar are left alive. I think they're going to save their weapons here. Again, saving that $3,200. And when there's five guys left of the enemy, they really have complete control of this map. It's going to be hard to retake that bomb site. And I think Complexity knows that. They're coming after them right now. Right to the left, two guys are coming for Complexity. Right to his left. Here comes Shag. Here we go. Let's see if he can get these frags. They knew right where he was. There's another one there. Does he know it? Oh, he shot through the box. Wow. Rod. What a shot. What a nice guess there. Getting... Getting Shag, and that's going to hurt. Seaver's getting Warden there. And he's the only one who's going to come out. He gets two big frags there, so he comes out of it with his gun and maybe a little bit more money. Might be able to buy a teammate something here. It's 7 to 6, Trev. We have two rounds left, man. Yeah, just two. Uh, oh, my gosh. It's all tied up right now. We Unbelievable. could see OT. 14 14 score. I don't, I don't know if my throat can handle it. 14 to 14 score right now. Two rounds left. Either team needs to win both. So, in other words, you have to win two rounds here in order to win the match. If they split them, it's a tie ball game. So, again, two rounds left. They have to win both in order to win this match. Look at this. This is like a, a stack here of A. 
by 3D. They got Seavers who's watching the middle from the CT spawn. And 3D may have guessed right here because Complexity has three guys on the catwalk with the bomb. And it looks like maybe 3D is saving here, or they've got deagles. A couple of guys, um, Volcano's got a deagle. It looks like Method's got an, uh, an M4, so it, only a few guys have guns for 3D, and that could be an issue here in this round. A nice little nade there tossed by Volcano. You can see it. And uh, some of them, yeah, there's a few Colts, like you said. Seavers and Method being uh, one of them that has them, or two of them that have them. And 50 seconds left, the time is ticking down. Complexity slowly making their way into the site. Here comes the flash. Seavers gets the first. That's fraud. That's a big frag for him, though, over near the middle. A nice, oh, nice, nice headshot shot by Volcano. That was going against an AK-47. Another one. That's another frag for him. Wow, oh, what a my God. That's a huge save win, man. Just huge, a partial bomb. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. That's, that's experience coming down right there. Did you see he threw that flash initially, stopped the team, and then he backed off a little bit. He let the flash actually look happen and then jumped back in. Here we go. Let's look at Volcano again. This was so amazing. this is after the flash. He Boom. jumps in. He gets that first frag, waits there, gets Another the second one. here, and then he's going to go jump off the side and get one more. And we're not going to get to see that when the replay didn't last that long. But a great job. We saw both those frags. He got three of them. kind of play we expected from these teams. I mean, could you have expected any less? Is there any chance we could get maybe a couple of replays here from some of the earlier round? Oh, no, okay. Uh, I was hoping so. That would have been nice. Uh, but, again, I think we're going to get a little bit of a break. Trip jumping up real quick, um, finding out what's going on. I think they're going to talk to the uh, – the, uh, Mike Allen there, the commissioner, or not the commissioner, but the uh, the tournament admin for the Counter-Strike side of things. He's going to talk to those guys, find out what's going to happen here as both sides are almost ready to go. I wonder if maybe uh, we could talk to Bell in just a little bit. We'll see if well, she's ready. Possibly not. We'll have to see what she's doing down there. But we, I would like to see the overtime rules real quick. If we could, we'll go over those real quick since we're going to have to get those up. That, that would, would be, be the perfect time. That would be, good, that would be a good idea, I think. There they are, there Johnny, on the spot. Three rounds of overtime per side. So you play three on offense, three on defense. First team to win. So, again, it's like a little mini match. We had 30 rounds before. You had to get 16 to win. Now you've got six rounds, and you've got to get four to win. But the, the key difference here, you start with 10,000 money. So before we saw them start with a pistol round where they've only got secondary weapons, they only have $800, not much to work with. Now the bank has been opened, $10,000 to start with, and you get a chance to, to buy whatever you want to start with. You have to be a little careful, though. Three rounds is not a lot to work with. I mean, no. is a lot to work with. So what happens is if you buy too much, you can end up not having enough in that third round. So teams have to so, be careful so of yeah, that. So, yeah, basically what but, you're saying, a lot of people don't – think they need to manage the money in OT, but you do. You need to be a careful about it. You need to be careful about it. And again, props to our boy Jason Baker back there for that $10,000 start money idea. And let's go right into the action right now. Uh, there's Sir Scoots again. A little Sir Scoots he's sighting in the, the background. He's always in the camera, man. I, I think he just likes it. Maybe he finds his way contest. in there, yes. Have a little contest. We'll count him. It's, we need a counter. You know that clicker on that counter yeah, the guy has? We'll, we'll put it up next to our, our score. You know. Oh, oh Scoots. Scoots, Scoots, Scoots again. Scoots Boom. again. Scoots again. But we're live here in OT. Um, 15 to 15 to score right now. Complexity is on the T side. That's the offensive side. So they're going to stay where they were. And let's take a look and see. 3D has a nice little picket line across the map. They got two guys in the yep. middle. Two if, and A and one B. If we can go to the overhead real quick, you can see that just a picket, like you're saying, picket line right across the map, all the way. You could draw almost a line at one point there between each of the members as they try to cordon off the map. And nice Shag. play, as Shag picking up the first That's frag in here in the, the middle. Cat. In the middle on the cat. That's kind of like something we'd see Fraud do on a regular basis. So Shag kind of showing, he's showcasing those AWP skills. Very important in the middle. Control the middle. That was one of our talking points. Extremely important on this map, does too. They're boosting an AWP up there, but you know what? Not gonna happen. Shagwar got boosted up onto the platform, and Fraud said, No, not gonna happen. I'm gonna take you out. And there it goes. Makes oh. it back. Oh, Fraud is open. One. B is open right now. I think uh, 3D is rotating through. Look at Fraud. He's having a huge round. Oh, Fraud nice. Up. That's the first round of OT here. It's going to complexity. When that round first started, I thought 3D had it, but again, that boost at an inopportune time. They put Shagwar up onto that platform because the guy was next to him. He can't jump up on there by himself. The only way he can get around there is to go all the way in front of the box. So what they did is they tried to boost him up to do it quickly, and you know what? He caught. caught. Fraud was right there waiting, took him out, and then took out his teammate who stepped out to try to help save him, and it was all over as Fraud opened up bombsite B, and then nothing else the 3d members could do great play right there by complexity and individually by fraud as he's really started to step it up and that is a great opportunity to do so 
Yeah, right now taking a look. There's Method starting things off. Seavers was in the B halls. Push through. You can see him right there on your screen. Caught Storm off guard. Storm, I think, heard him, came back in. Seavers was waiting for him with the M4. So right now this round is looking good for 3D. They got a 5-on-3 situation. Cole still has the bomb. A little bit of a boost here on the catwalk. You can see he boosts the guy up on the skybox. He kind of gets the drop as he comes around the corner. So right now, Warden up long. Rambo um, waiting for him. Quickly, Seavers on the flank right here is going to absolutely hurt somebody. Uh, if we get an opportunity. Oh, they well, moved a little quickly. Late. Here's Method starting things off. Fraud him. What a, what a pick on the catwalk. Blew the guy uh, right oh, off. it didn't get an opportunity, but Seavers was ticking time bomb right there. And But 3D stopped them before they even got in. That was actually surprising. I can't believe complexity shut that down as well as they did unbelievable job right there um they just they just got shut down by the great entry defense by 3d normally we see like we've been watching complexity gets into the bomb sites or push-ups the catwalk they didn't even get close now 3d just shut it down well, the boost really helped there i mean the, the early grenades clued them in and the boost by volcano allowed them to really damage those guys and get the first frag as they came up no chance at all for complexity so right now, watching as Complexity setting up right now, and again, I think they're setting up for a bomb site. B, um, slow push here. Warden is in the halls with the bomb. He's joined by Storm, Fraud, Trip, and Sunman are all in the middle across those double doors from Seavers that we saw just a moment ago. So right now, still no action here as I think a slow push up the catwalk is what's happening. Yeah, you know, this almost looked like... Um Something that we saw earlier, I wasn't sure if they were going to go out middle or not, but it doesn't look like they are. Um, possibly a, an attempt at a fake here. You saw the grenades being thrown exactly. up by Complexity. Up the catwalk, an attempt to maybe clue those guys in as to uh, a rush of the cat. A little fire in the middle here. Seavers took some damage through those double doors. You could shoot through them with assault rifles, and that could hurt. There's an absolute ton of pressure on Shagra right now. He must get two frags in order for his team to have a chance right now. And... and Hey, there's one. Let's see if he can get another. This is the same thing they did before. They're crunching Shag inside of B, and they get in there. Volcano gets a couple of frags. They, they didn't do it as well as they did before. Right now we got a three-on-three. Three. It's very difficult to get back in the B and take it, though, especially against complexity. Oh, and Fraud's going to make that almost impossible with a nice op shot into the spawn. And now they know both players are coming on the flank from the dark halls where they just came. So right now Method and Rambo are in a tough position. Yeah, I'm not so sure here, and they need to win this round, um, really, to uh, have a chance. Rambo picks off the guy who was down long. Now they got to deal with Fraud. A oh, whip nice shot bait. by Fraud. I'm not sure how he missed that. It looked like he was right on him here. Oh, Sunman backing his teammate up to two on one. Fraud getting he's got it, defuse the bomb, and it goes off. That's a complexity win. Two to one to score in the second half, so 3D needs to do something here. Again, if we can go to the overhead real quick while they ready up and go to the uh, Telestrator, we can look at what they did that round. We, they did it earlier again, but let's go over it one more time. We saw what they do is they come out middle here, and they're pushing up into this site. At the same time, they're coming into the actual B bomb site, and they're splitting. And then 3D only had <coughs> one member, Shagwar, right there. Normally, you have a guy here in the middle or in spawn here to help stop those guys from coming in mid, but they're not putting anyone there. They're actually putting all four guys up here in that upper bomb site. So really, Shagwar is left all alone, and the complexity made 3D pay for that mistake. Yeah, it's been so even on each side. It's going to be hard to see what can happen here. If 3D needs to win two rounds. They need two to stay in it. Yeah, or they else need two. Complexity is moving on, and 3D is going home. They need two to win it, three to three to uh, two to two to tie it, three to win it. Excuse me. Um, and right now, 3D. Oh, we're gonna get a huge oh, stack man. here. Big stack here. Push up by Complexity. Let's see if they can do it. Oh, nice flash comes out. Let's see if Complexity rushes out. I think they're gonna do it. Grenades. They called this rush here. Let's see exactly what Complexity is gonna do. They're gonna push out. Look at Warden. Two big ones. And Shag is gonna respond with that AWP. Cole is making their way out. The bomb is down, and it's now a three-on-one. This is trouble for Absolute 3D. Absolute amazing guess, and I cannot believe 3D did not have someone watching middle to make sure that they... That was a mistake again. 3D should have had someone watching the double door saying, okay, we saw three guys rush into lower B, and when that happens, okay, fine, let's, let's go back. back, let's pull back, let's get back into our spawn and regroup. Instead, they kept plowing right on through, bunch of flashes come flying into there, and they come rushing out and taking them out before they even get into the dark halls. Absolute stuff right there as complexity is going to win this round. I don't think Rambo has a chance at this. No, no. Three on one and all three members of complexity are on that side. 
Uh, one of them is the off of fraud. So he may get picked off if he peeks here. I think he's smart enough to know that, but he should be. There it is, a, a whiffed shot there. Let's see. Oh, if fraud drops him. And, man, oh. that's not good. I, maybe we're doing overkill in this, but let's go to the Telestrator one more time if we can and show what, what they did on that. And they pushed into the halls here. Again, maybe you're wondering how they pulled that off. But, again, what Complexity did is they rushed guys in through the Star Calls up here and out while also rushing guys through here. Well, 3D obliged them and came this way, and they stuffed them right before they got out that spot. So great job by um, complexity guessing right if they had gone to the other bomb site 3d had that would have been disastrous for complexity so just a good guess and a ta taking a risk in a situation that happens to pay off yeah that, that was a big time guess and a, a great call by trip the in-game caller for complexity looks like 3d is going to work towards a trip is hiding out there down long you can see him right there he got warden pushed up on the cat a good view of him but trip uh, is in a great position here to possibly get a good frag. A must-win situation for 3D, and they're going to push here on Trip. Yeah, so Trip is totally blind now. Flash grenade laid off, and somehow he gets a frag. I don't know. I think it partially got him. Method over in the middle picks one off. But Shag going to town. Now, right now, 3D has the man advantage. They need to win this, or they're out. They are out. So let's see what 3D can do. Right now, it's a, there's another frag by Rambo, putting it in a great position here. 3D in a four-on-two they need this round, Trev. They absolutely need it. Yeah, four on two, and Warden is caught in A all by himself. Shagwar creeping up the catwalk. Seavers and uh, Method coming up the long. Oh. But you know what? That got shut down. Warden stopping one, but Method there to clean it up. And now it's all up to Storm against three members of 3D, and Method uh, has got a lock on him there in the Inside spawn. Of a. There you go. Yeah. So, so Storm is down, the bomb planted. And it's a three-on-one storm. If he wins this round, his team moves on. It's looking like it's going to be a real tough situation right now, though, especially with Method. And there he is with the AWP from Long. Drops him. Now we have one more round in this half. You know, one of these teams can still win it right here. Yeah, I'm, it'd be hilarious to see, like, you know, one of these teams comes out victorious and then finds their way into, you know, getting themselves a second place finish and then finding a way to maybe go on through this tournament and even win this thing. This is a kind of match where if you win this, this could turn around and make this tournament and really give you the momentum to maybe take over and win this thing. I know that's funny to say considering both of them just won this event, but this is that kind of a match where it oh. just transcends the entire tournament. So 3D right now in a situation where they need to win this round. Absolutely. And again, again, they need it to move, and Complexity can go home. Complexity can win this round right here and put themselves um, in a position to, uh, you know, if they win this round, they win this match. So 3D must win it to force a second overtime. One round left here. And here's a trip there. Nice little quick headshot with that AK-47. Right now, Complexity down to three guys, and 3D has all five of theirs right now, and they have the man advantage. They need this round, absolutely. They, they definitely do, and right now, oh, Fraud is going to stop oh. Rambo at long A, though. That's going to help things out. Sunman's coming to support a catwalk push, which is what's coming right now for three members. Oh, what a shot by Fraud. There he is again on the cat. I'm not sure I understand why 3D's not coming out together. Shag, here we go, gets Storm, who's in the middle, but look at 3D. They're running to B right now. They're cruising there. Sunman and Fraud, the only two I think Fraud is going to be looking for that middle shot, but puts Sunman in kind of a bad position here. Oh, a tank to the face of Sun. That hurts. And we are going to see a bomb plant here by Volcano. Complexity is going to have a tough time getting into B, Trev. They are very much so. They're going to need at least one or two frags from Fraud's op here, and he needs to take out Method first and foremost. Method should just hide. Do not come out if you're Method. If you come out, you're going to get taken out here. So here we go. Volcano taking Fraud down. It's now a three-on-one. And there it is. Exactly. 3D staying Smart alive. Play. 3D that staying alive. That left 3D in the game. Method in that situation getting that frag, uh, or not not stepping out and getting fragged by, um, by uh, excuse me, by Fraud, allowed that round to happen. He allowed his teammate to get the first frag on, on Fraud, and Here's then he replay. stepped out and got the next Check one. Check it out. Here's the initial pick by Fraud. Beautiful option. See little, the little adjustment right before he pulls the trigger? Very nice work on the catwalk. We've seen it all match along with this guy. Get, yeah, that's absolutely true. During the regular, the regular part of this match, during the regular half um, on the defensive side, he was absolutely fundamental in stopping at all those rushes. And again, they were going straight into the second over time they stay on the same side so if you see complexity again on on the defensive side you're wondering what the heck's going on 
they, they switch on it. You get a tactical advantage by starting overtime on the offensive side. So if you go to a second overtime, they say, hey, the other, to- the other side gets that opportunity now. So 3D gets the opportunity now to start on the offensive side and see if they can't put up a score that they can stop complexity from matching in the second half. So 3D, this is double OT right now for those of you who may have just tuned in. Double overtime here on Dust 2, complexity and 3D. Both of these teams lost earlier in the second round of group play, so both teams are in a must-win situation for this match to move on. The other one goes home, is the loser, and that would be very, very disappointing. Yeah, so right now, a little stack in the middle. Fraud is on the head of one of the complexity members. He's pushed up there. He's looking to see if he can't pick a guy. He tries to go up the catwalk. Oh, he had a shot on one. I don't know if he hit him, but he had a shot on somebody. He missed that shot and getting that frag, and it looks like 3D is going to push up the catwalk. They're going to try to split long A and catwalk here. Oh, no, never mind. Shagwar's going to pull back, and they're going to go all catwalk. Yeah, so here we go. Five-man rush for 3D. They slow it down, though. Holding back, there's three guys in A right now. Fraud on the bottom there. Some nade work here. That's, that's going to hurt 3D a little bit, possibly on the entry. But here we go. Delay, a nice pick by Beth. It jumps around the corner. Blasts him. Warden hiding. At the bomb plant spot, you can kind of see him right there. Oh, man, Method, there's another shot. Rambo going to town. 3D's inside the site, and this is big time news for them. Great opportunity. It looks like 3D is doing exactly what complexity does to teams, right back to them. And instead of using fraud to do it, they're using Method. And I'm surprised by that because Shagwar is normally the AWP on this team, but instead they're using Method as their player to go in and pick the site and then go in. So that's an interesting change for this team. Oh, and there, look at Volcano. See, that was important there because the money situation for these teams, it hurts when you lose guns on the CT side big time. And that was a nice little hunting a little hunting ex- expedition Absolutely. there for Volcano. And, and again, like I said, Method is really stepping up for this team right now, 3D. If they win this, I really think Method deserves all the credit. He has been absolutely huge for them, and he's really taken on a role that we normally don't see from him. Using him as an AWP tool to open up holes in the opposing defense, normally he's one of those guys that they use as a, as a uh, once they've entered the fra- uh, a bomb site, he helps clear out. He's really one of those more entry-level guys than instead of a guy like Fraud, who they use use as a way of punching a hole in the off- on the, in the defense and then rushing through it. Yeah, so really that also that speaks to the versatility of method. I mean Absolutely. Yeah, he's such a such a solid player. He's shown his ability to use any weapon on either side and it's been the key factor of keeping 3D in this match. So let's see here. Looks like it's going to be uh, a B rush or or possibly just a slow a walk into B here. Storm positioned perfectly. Spots him, gets the first frag, and hold down mouse one just a little bit. Volcano going down. That hurts a little bit. 3D going to back up here. The bomb is there in the hands of Shag. Smart play there by Complexity. They used Sunman to help come over and help and allow Storm to get out of that bad position. They knew where he was at, so they both double flashed, allowed Storm to run away, and that keeps the man advantage. Five on four right now in favor of Complexity. Smart teamwork play right there by Sunman and Storm. Uh, I think this Nate may get uh, it may get him, and it does. He was down to just 19 health. Little do they know that Sunman is hiding in the corner around here. Let's see if they actually check it. Um, they should, but no, Sunman gets the best deceivers who decide to walk in and not check the spot. Gets two of them. Is, is Method going to be able to do this with the up? He does. What a shot, man. Close range. Oh, but That's he's going to get nasty. taken out by Fraud, who comes in now with a three-on-one. Oh, and Warden. So it's now one-to-one again. I mean, the overtime could just keep going here, Trev. Yeah, it just seems to keep going on and on and on right now. So 19-19 to score. And again, if you're 3D, I think they need to win this round. Again, it's easier on the offensive side. So you have, if you don't get two rounds here in this overtime versus the one for the defense, then it makes it easier for complexity on the second half. So 3D must, I think, win this round. Yeah, so here we go. Let's take a look at 3D. They just love to work towards B. It seems like in overtime they, they've done nothing but work towards B. Storm in there. I guess they think he's some kind of a weak link, but he sure as heck isn't. He's had two frags there on the entry team rotating right now. Sunman outside. Rambo waiting in the middle. Sunman still up top. Rambo going down, though. Nice little uh, pick there by Trip. Awake, and the bomb is going to be playing here, but this isn't looking good for 3D on the offensive side at all. Rambo needed to get more than nothing right there. He needed to get two frags. Oh. He's going to put a lot of pressure on Method right now, and he steps up with the first one. Let's see. It's a two-on-two. Two. I'm sorry, a three-on-two. Warden comes in, and both of them go. Look at that. Flips right around. 180's the guy. Solid play by Warden, and 3D's going to need to do something on this other side here big time. 
And look at Lake. He finally he think he sees the opportunity, sees the chance for his team to win this match. He's getting them up for it. And you know what? They do have an opportunity right now. Right here. They have the offensive side now. They only need two rounds to win this. That's very doable. We've seen them do that in the first OT. They just need to match that here. 20 to 19 score right now and a little replay of that action we just saw. Let's check it out. They're making their way in. Here comes Storm with those two big, huge frags. That was looking the total wrong way. I mean, those are so critical. So critical when a team is entering a bomb site. If you can get the first couple guys, that helps your teammates out so exactly. much. Exactly. Yep, that's totally true. And especially over there in the B bomb site, there's only two guys normally in that area, unless you're 3D and you only put Shag over there by himself. But uh, two guys normally, and then what happens is you have to rotate all three. So if you get a strong play there in bomb site B, then it allows the other teammates to get over there and rotate and get themselves in a position to help support you in that bomb site. A lot of smokes middle. Here comes complexity. They're rushing up Cat. Nobody there. Nice neighbor by 3D. Just halts oh, that. Oh, tons of flashes. I Unbelievable. Think just halted in its tracks. They've done that all match long. Look at Method going to work with Rambo. Volcano. Man, this round's going to 3D right now. Th this right here is why you don't rush a five-man rush with guns. You, you just oh. you can't rush five guys when there's full guns for both teams. There's simply too many flashes and too many nades available, and the other team can just throw as much as they need to, the defensive team can, and stop that rush. So a replay. very bad move, in my opinion, by complexity. A five-man rush of the catwalk just seems idiotic at this point in the match. And again, method. Look, look at how well he's playing for this team. I mean, two initial frags. I mean, he's the first guy to start off almost every round. Solid play by this guy. He's really stepped up for 3D. Now all tied up 20 to 20 right now, and they're setting up here for the second round of the second half of the second overtime. So things are just continuing to develop here, and we're watching as the game continues to get so close. It's so close. It doesn't get any closer than this. Yeah. 20 to 20. And, and we got to talk real quick about nerves at this point. We talked about this before. When you start getting into a second overtime, when you start getting in potentially a third overtime, the hand starts to shake, and that is crucial. It's not like other sports where, you know, if your hand shakes, you can, you know, get over it because you're moving around a lot. You're in a seat sitting there, and if your hand shakes during a crucial point, you lose it. So really the nerves at this point are going to become very, very important for both teams. Who can outlast the other and who can stop, keep themselves loose and not get too nervous in a very clutch situation. Complexity here up on Cat. They continue to work towards Cat. And, and they've had a hard time getting through there. I mean, you know, they've been shut down in save rounds. We've seen them shut down or at least partial buys by 3D. Full gun rounds, foolish rushes by them. Let's see exactly what they do. Trip's going to make it out. Grenades just going everywhere. Volcano starts things off. Rambo playing in his regular spot. Grenades just everywhere. Let's see how complex he can do it. 3D needs to win this round here. And let's see what happens. You see the bomb down right there, Trevor. Look at Matthew. Rambo! Another big win. 3D is in oh my position right now I, I, to take this. I thought Complexity had the opportunity to win this, and they both proved me wrong. The defenses have stepped up here in the second overtime, winning two rounds apiece. Complexity did it on their defensive side, and 3D's done it on theirs. Now, Complexity must win that last offensive round to force a third overtime. Look, look 3D at could do it. Look at Warden, man. It's a nail biter. He's wiping his forehead. You know, you know it's getting, it's and, getting and deep down there. And you know what? There. Lake's excitement is gone. He realized, you know what? That opportunity is long gone. Now I just need this to salvage my life in this tournament. Just, just, yeah, exactly. Just another OT. He needs to win this Yes, round. exactly. I mean, they're going home if they don't win this. There's very, that's a very, very real possibility. And 21-20 right now, and this game continues to just absolutely thrill us. Uh, you know, battle of the defenses. That's really been yeah. the story. I mean, that's been the story all match long. We've seen so much defensive prowl here for these teams. Exactly. It's been amazing. And the, and the battle between Method and Fraud, we hyped it coming in, and we were totally right on. These two players have played amazing for their two teams. Fraud, I mean, Method specifically has been absolutely Amazing. So right now, Fraud moving up the catwalk. They've got Deagle. Oh, nice by Trip. Back to team up to save them. Here we go. Money troubles. Complexity rushing up. Let's see what happens here. Rambo's about to get flanked. Complexity may stay alive here. Fraud right here pushing up on the catwalk. And you know what? Th four to two score right now. Two guys left. Four 3D. Only f all four or four left for complexity. So this is going to be tough. I'm really thinking a third overtime is a third very overtime. realistic option here. Uh, I think that's what's going to happen unless 3D can pull something out of the hat. I mean, I, 
This is going to be the, the trick of tricks if they can do it. Seavers starting things off here, made it a three on two. Let's see if they can do it. Remember that oh, bomb? Oh, Fraud is, is hiding here. He's going to get them both, I think. Remember that bomb is ticking, and he does. Clutch play by Fraud. Man, they didn't check the spot. Dangerous, but that was that was a pretty tricky move there by him. Risky, but <laughs> tricky. Seavers just spamming his keyboard because he knew he had an opportunity there to win that round. And we're going to go right into the third overtime. There is... They're Man. not going to wait for anything. They're not going to. They're not going to no, take any. Slow. No hey, five you know breaks. SK, take some notes here. You don't take breaks between matches and halves. You just go right into it. Let's play this thing. Let's get it going. Great opportunity right now. Going into the third overtime. 3D complexity, man. Here on Dust 2, it's insane. This is the. I told you it was going to be the match of the tournament, man. I told, I told We hey, knew it. We I, called it. Don't, right don't, here. don't take all the credit for that one because we hey, both hey, said we it both was said the, it. We said this was going to okay. be the game. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to those guys out there. There, there you there go. go. There, there, very good. Very good clarification there. 21 so, 21. That's the score. So Third right overtime. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So let's check it out, man. Complexity, T side. That's the offensive side. They've got to plant that bomb. Method starting things off. Over by Long, shoots the guy right through the doors. And that's Fraud. He picked two. He probably had an op as well. So there it goes already. Fraud and Method battle inside the game. And right there, they took each other. Method took him down. I think Method has easily been the winner of that battle oh, yeah. inside this Absolutely. game. Again, there's five players in this game. And battles inside, of ba inside the game between these different players is often the key. And right there, Method is really been absolutely dominating fraud and that right there was a situation where that puts complexity down a man in this half i don't round. think the fraud has played as well as we've seen him play on this map in the past he's played well enough team. though he's played well enough that it's going to three ot's but i think he hasn't made that leap to what we've seen him capable of before so looks we'll like see. we got a fake here they're pushing up catwalk faking that thing now they're coming back to bombsite b shagwar is going to be in the middle of all the action right here. Let's see if that nady through will do anything. He's already hurting. Seavers there backing him up. Oh, oh, man, Warden just blasted him through that smoke. Nice little play. We see Warden with an op once again. Unusual, but he's played well with it so far. We're going to see if uh, the bomb does. It will get planted there. Right now, 3D getting set up for the retake. They got Rambo in the halls. The other three outside. Met the Seavers and Volcano. Rambo spamming through. Let's see if his team can do it. It's a three on three. And uh, you can tell. Oh, my gosh. Tell. If we get a shot of Shag right now. Oh but wait a minute, though. Storm inside. Oh, Green wow. trying to make the entry. Seavers getting one. They're exchanging kills. Seavers with the pistol. That's huge. It's now a two-on-one situation against Warden. He's in the back. Seavers oh pistols him down. Oh, my God. That's a three-frag round for Seavers. That's huge for 3D. They needed that big time. Oh, wow. We couldn't go to Seavers there because we're in the middle of the uh, in, in middle of Look at Shag. Him. And oh, he man. actually They're got ready. warned by the referee for talking during the round. He had his hands in it. He had his head in his oh. hands out absolutely praying that they'd win that round. And he, and he got his prayers answered as they came in, took that, and just uh, absolutely run over yeah, them you know right what? there. Look at Seavers. He's been the sixth man for 3D for the last couple months before Dave stepped out. That, that play, that's that's what you're looking for for a top caliber player right there. Josh, doing very well keeping his team in it. 22-21 right now, and we are in our third overtime. Third overtime, boys and girls. First half of the third overtime in the second round. Uh, I... I can't play, believe right? we've played this many rounds. <laughs> I, I simply mean, can't. Yeah, that's, I mean, we're going to get to a point where we've played two matches here pretty soon. If it yeah, keeps going yeah like absolutely. This. I think you can count on it. It's just been back and forth, and both these teams are so dead even, it's ridiculous. Truly the battle of the defense, though. You can tell these guys have really stepped it up, both teams on the defensive side, winning only what they need to on the offensive side lately just to stay in it and force OT. Look at the complexity here. You can going see all catwalk going again. I don't cat. like this. And, and you know what? The way Warden's playing this, I think they may pull back and go to bombsite B. I don't think they're going to go to catwalk here. I would be surprised by that, actually. I think it's a fake. You see the smoke's going up, but you never know. The opera's heading up. That's Fraud and uh, the bomb carrier's son, man. You can see him right there on your screen. Is hanging back on Cat. They're going to scope things out. Seavers goes down in the CT spawn. That's Trip who picked out and dropped him. So right now, 3D is a little bit in trouble I, here. They have really sold this fake. I think they're going to go to Oh, B. look at yeah, it. Yeah, they have. Look but at you know this what? 3D quickly rotated here. They called it. Look at oh, Shag. Oh, nice. Oh, Shag gets one, but Warren is in there real quick. Trip that entry guy, often sacrificing oh, the first team. Oh, Fraud's on the flank here. Fraud's he might get a couple. Oh, my gosh. He might get this guy. Oh, he got Rambo. He's got Method in his sights I don't now. Think, I think Method. Oh, 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 180 headshot from Method is nasty. Here we go. We got a two- it's now a one-on-one. -on -one. It's Volcano Sunman outside the site. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh there it is. Man. 
coming up clutch. A lot of people have thought that some man's play has been on the downside. Oh, he, he right won that there. round. He won that wow. round. That's and all that matters. You know what? Fraud could have won that round outright if he had taken out Method right there. But Method, like you said, that 180, he was looking the other direction, turned completely around and got Fraud, who was on the flank in the spawn. An amazing shot right there to even keep it close. And, and, and that's oh, another wow. example of Method winning that battle here. Yeah, exactly right. Just another right. example. I don't, I, I mean, just, he may have eight plus just in this match. Yeah, you I know, think he's, so It's 100 to 92 coming in. We had that split down between the two, two players. Method may have a plus eight in this match alone, the way he's been playing against Fraud. Okay. Third round of OT here in our third OT in the first half of it. <laughs> I, we're going to get some more threes for you in yeah, a little we're bit. Gonna, we're going to need to like figure out a better way to explain this because people are going to start getting confused with all the OTs. <laughs> no, no. You know what? Ignore the OTs. Just look we'll at the look score. Look at the score. Yeah. So we'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> one to one in this half of it, though. So 3D right now. Another picket line kind of spread out. Let's take a look at the overhead real quick. If we can switch to that before the rush, you'll be able to see the 3D. Oh, look in the middle here. Maybe working cat again, Trev. And yeah, they are. They're doing. pushing up that catwalk. Fraud going to get the first frag here on Method. So finally Fraud. Stepping up, maybe it. that'll be a key for them to win this round, but Seaver's going to come back on it, so now Shagwar looks like he's going to get some action here as they're going in to B. And there we go, Shagwar. Oh, nice. oh, man, that's a nice frag in the middle, and right now it's a two-on-one. The bomb is dropped inside B. Rambo hustling over there. Shag knows he's trapped in the corner, knows that Fraud's right there. Fraud is peeking. Let's see. I don't think he doesn't realize that Rambo's right oh. there by the door. He knows where Shag is here. And, uh, so oh, he missed oh, that missed shot. You Rambo. can't miss that. I I, and Shag was spraying as well. Look at that. You see him yeah. breathing a deep, deep You know what? That was there. excellently played by Shagwar. He did not push up. In normal situation, you see a player, when he gets the first frag, he's going to push that and try to take that advantage. But instead, he stayed back. He waited. He waited. And he allowed his team to come. He allowed Rambo to come help him. A very smart move. Boom. There's that headshot. That nice dropped play. the bomb there. That, that was crucial. So here Excellent we go. play right there by Shagwar all the way around. And you know what? He didn't get three, four frags, but he got the one that counted, and he allowed his team to come help, and that's what you got to do with Counter-Strike. And Rambo played that perfectly. I mean, he waited just, you know, for that shot by Fraud, and that was perfect. So we're just waiting for the live on three here. Intense 23 to 22 score right now for these two teams. This is for Bragg right? It's top team for America right here. Both of them, the top two. So three rounds down now. We're going to go to the, the second half of the third overtime. So three more rounds from the other side. 3D is now on the offense. Going to get into this right now, 3D. Looks like uh, Lake is, is sitting down praying uh, he can't back take there behind anymore. him. He can't take he it. He can't look anymore. Look at him. He just please <laughs> That's a perfect win. shot just of him. please win. <laughs> oh, man. Jason Lake, of course, the, uh, the yeah, owner of in, the in team. Yeah, in the, uh, the green, in the... Uh, yeah, yeah, I color? guess that would be like an olive shirt. It's hard there to tell from here. Similar to what I've got on, of yeah. course. Oh, of the course, right? Yeah. Color. We've got great style, me and him. So uh -huh. right now, 23-22 um, score. And we're waiting here as the team set up in the second half of the third overtime. Yeah, this is insane. 3D needs to win two. They need to win two. And this is their opportunity. This is the same opportunity that Complexity had last time, and they blew it being on that offensive side. Now 3D has that opportunity. This should be the easier side. But the defense has been so stellar for both teams. I, I can't say that the opportunity even really exists on one hand, you know? The way how even these teams are bad, nothing. It's not an opportunity until they actually win it. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's like it, you don't really know. It's almost as if the opportunities are taken away. It's almost down to luck. So initially we saw 3D push towards long A where Seaver still was. Now they've gone back to the dark halls, of the upper dark halls. They're going to push on Storm here, either right to the right here. So right around that box, they're all going to come flooding out, and we'll see if Storm can be up to the task. See, Storm has been up to the task all match long, and I'm not sure why uh, 3D likes to do this. Here we go, Storm getting one. Sunman, his partner, over by the doors, gets another. The 3D having a tough time getting they in. Still Shag haven't is over cleaned there. Him out yet. Finally, Shag guns him down, but Sun is right there. Seavers, they need to get a plant, but Warden on the rotation. It's now a three on one. It's not looking good for 3D. Not yeah, looking good Seavers at all. Yeah, and Seavers going to go down. Warden was in the window. He jumped. He got up onto the window, took out Method, who was coming around to help get rid of Storm. And then Warden jumped in the window and took out Seavers. So, really, I can't credit both of Warden's frags to Storm by staying alive in the back of the bomb site, keeping that action alive. And keeping 3D from being able to look at control Lake. that side. Look at him. He, he, he can't take the pressure. I mean, this has got to be one of the biggest hey, matches yeah, he's I mean, seen in a while, man. If you don't believe us that this is something that everyone cares about, just
just watch Shag and just watch Lake. They can't handle it anymore. Uh, and Shag's one of the players. Exactly. I mean, I mean, but how, you know what? You it's feel? harder to watch than it is to play. They always say that, and that's exactly what's going on in Lake's mind right now. So let's take a look at 3D. You can see Warden here on the screen. He's put up some big numbers lately. I mean, he's 2-0 and here just in this half of the OT, along with Sunman, who has two frags over in the defense of the B-bomb site. So solid play by Warden all match long. We've seen his versatility with that AWP as well in a couple of the rounds. So Import let's see what 3D does. Important round right here. 3D, more complexity to win this. is going to have an opportunity to win this match. So really, the winner of this round is going to get the opportunity to maybe take this thing home, and you want to set this home right now. Complexity set up. Looks like they're going to be coming up catwalk 3D. Three members now make that four with Seavers joining them is there, and Rambo is still at B, so maybe a fake here? Let's see. I don't know. It looks like they're committing here uh, up the catwalk, and trip over in that little spot on the side, takes it down, Shag returns fire. This would be a perfect opportunity to pull back and fake. They may have them here bit on this if they pull back, but I think they're going to go. They are going to go in. And, and really, and complexity wasn't really budging much anyway, so let's see. Fraud with that AWP gets a critical frag. Warden oh, another one. they needed that um, one. Got that down, but now he's in a two-on-one. You want to talk about a clutch situation, Seavers has it right here. Yeah, They're going to come up right below him right here. And he has the position. I don't know if I peek. Oh. He gets one of them. It's now a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's see. He spots oh, it, but no storm score. comes up big. That, that, uh, Seavers had the opportunity right there. That was it right there. He might have been able to win the round, win the match right there. They get that round, maybe put together the next one. But you know what? Storm picks it up for his team. Now it's through Complexity has the opportunity to win this match, and you see Complexity has the momentum. Lake is letting them know it. Here's the replay right here of that. Seavers coming around, gets the first one. Oh, man. Through Partially the wall. through the wall there. And Boom. then, the, man, Storm got lucky, I think, there. I think Steve, Steve he was not looking that for him. He wasn't looking for him, I that's for sure. I think he was sure. turned around, and he had to he, he was, around. He was checking above to see if he was still on the platform, and he wasn't looking that way. He just got a nice flick shot on him, I think. 3D needs to win this round. Right here. They, they have to win, win to tie it, and Complexity has the opportunity to win this match after an absolute thriller. Man, I, I don't know. This is going to be just insane. We need to see what he's got. 3D holding back a little bit. Near the A side of the site, you can kind of see here that they've they've not committed to anything yet. Kind of hanging back, throwing those smokes. They're afraid of that Alp in the middle of Fra, but he's not there. He's been playing long A most yeah. of this match on the defensive side. So the middle of this map is wide open right now, and that's exactly where 3D is going to move into. They're going to decide whether they want to go down through the double whores or up through the catwalk, and I think they're going to go catwalk here, Vince. And, and again, Fraud has been critical in the same position here as they go up the catwalk. If 24 he gets, to 23. If he gets two frags here, Complexity is going to win this match. Big statement, but it's been true so far throughout this I, match. I, that's not even a big statement. That's just a fact. Uh, let's see what happens. The grenade's coming in. I think Fraud knows the rush is coming. Partially blind. Shot through the smoke. Didn't look like it hit anything. 3D making their way up. Shag. Oh, man, there's a close range. Warden with another one. This could be big. This could be it for complexity right here. Method returns fire with a dig. Grenades being tossed back. Everyone's blind up there right now. Three yeah, I don't think anyone can see anything. But you know what? Complexity has the bomb down right there. This is trouble for 3D. This is bad news. Oh, There's another one. Here we go. Method. Oh, Method took him down. Method's the last one in a two-on-one. -on -one. Let's see if he can do it. No, complexity That's it. is going to win. Look at Lake going crazy. 3D. That hurts. Big time, but com but complexity just went to town and they did what they needed to do. Stellar defense, battle of the defenses, and that's what they did. Look at these guys. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places. Worn out faces Bright and early for their daily races Going nowhere, going nowhere Their tears are filling up their glasses No expression, no expression Hide my head, I wanna drown my sorrow no tomorrow, no tomorrow And I find it kind of funny, I find it kind of sad The 
dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. I find it hard to tell you, I find it hard to take. When people run in circles, it's a very, very mad world. Mad world. Children waiting for the day they feel good. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Tell me what's my lesson Look right through me Look right through me And I find it kind of funny I find it kind of sad The dreams in which I'm dying Are the best I've ever had I find it hard to tell you I find it hard to take When people run in circles It's a very, very 